So we cannot fathom, I cannot fathom, the enormity, the massive scale of an eruption of Yellowstone should it occur again today. This volcano is almost unrecognizable simply because of its enormous size. The Yellowstone supervolcano is one of the world's biggest. It lies dormant in the middle of the Rocky Mountains in Wyoming. Henry Heisler is a geologist working for the Yellowstone National Park. He monitors the numerous geysers, visible signs of the sleeping supergiant. Go ahead and pan it out towards Gardner. This now. is the largest collection of hot springs in existence. Three million visitors come to see them every year. In a way, they're like beauty and the beast at the same time. They look gorgeous, but you can have above boiling temperature waters, you can have acidic conditions, pH one and two, or the pH of battery acids, you can have dangerous geothermal gases in low areas. So how do we choose where to safely put these boardwalks so visitors can experience the sights, sounds, and smells of a hydrothermal area safely. It is invisible to the visitors, but the American continent is pushing itself very slowly over a huge magma bubble. The tourists deem themselves in safety while contemplating the natural spectacle above the supervolcano. Every year, 2,000 small earthquakes and recurring elevations of the ground reveal that the giant is alive. Only as recently as 2014, the biggest seismic shock in 30 years hit the area, thankfully, without causing any serious damage. No scientist can predict when the volcano will awaken again. The only thing we can do is to monitor the giant. One look into the Yellowstone's history shows that the volcano has erupted several times. These eruptions put out so much volcanic material as a fine ash. It was jetting it out. It wasn't a big explosion. It was jetting it out much like when an apple pie starts to break and you get steam coming out, that the ground then subsided. Just a few kilometers underneath the surface, magma eats its way through the Earth's crust like a welding torch. Only since 2015 do we know that the bubble is incredibly large, 46,000 cubic kilometers. The last eruption of the Yellowstone was 630,000 years ago. It destroyed everything within a radius of 100 kilometers. <laughs> 